What's up, everybody? I am Luke from the Master Sword Valley, and welcome to the final pin. It's a game that I found on Itch, one that I find very long. I just saw a brief sample of it by someone, and it's a classic stalker situation, apparently. That's just all I'm gonna leave it as. And like I said, I'm very, I'm still recovering from uh, some sort of sickness. <coughs> Hence that. So I apologize if I don't sound my best. Serial killers are not monsters lurking in the shadows, but human beings living among us, hiding in plain sight. They are the embodiment of the darkness, fears, and the most twisted desires, reminding us that the line between good and evil is often razor thin. Press any key to continue. I can't believe I did a good voice that good. I keep looking over as well. I'm checking on the progress of uh, my video that's exporting. 1968. Oh, honey, I'm home. Now what's for dinner, huh? What have you cooked this time for us? For me, my your loving husband, and your starving Excited children. for your first day? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope I can make a good first You'll impression. You'll do great, Dad. Thanks, kiddo. Thanks, good buddy. Luck, sweetie. <coughs> Thank you, Linda. I love you. I love you too, my loving wife. Mwah! Good day to you all. And happy, happy, have a good day, and happy Halloween. Why can I not open the drawers? Sensitivity. What is up with the controls? Oh, wait, is it E? Ah, okay, it is E. So what if I had, met, if I had read all the controls before starting here? That, that, of course, doesn't mean that I know anything about all this. The bedroom. The Kevin's room. Hey, oh, honey. What do you say we send Kevin to the grandmother's tonight? We'll have a good time. I am awful. I am awful. Wow. Okay. All right, honey. I guess there's nothing else in our house. We have a very boring old apartment here. Out I go. So long, losers. Unfortunately, I don't know if it would work because I tried testing it, but I don't have a 60s filter on voice mod. I do have some keyboard ASMR. One month later. Ah, I, I see we transition into the modern times here where we can now can have our modern voices. We don't need a 60s filter applying over anything right here. Wait, is my first day? Am I a police detective? What? Why am I here? Uh, right. Oh, I am a police detective. Cool. All right, then. All right, what do we oh, have going hey. on? You're new, right? Yeah, I'm the new guy. Yeah, this is the first crime scene I've been oh. at. Well, then. That means you and I will be crime scene partners for God knows how long. Nice to meet you. I'm... I'm, uh... Fred. Anyways, cool. you arrived just in time. All right, then. One weird ass crime scene. I see. You had to set up stakes in the middle of the parking lot when for the it. His body was rolled over. It revealed this strange symbol. I haven't strange seen symbol. anything like it before. I think it could mean something. Oh, let me take a look. Car. We need a photo of this. Need a photo, huh? What sort of strange symbol did it reveal? Oh, am I not? I'm not allowed to touch the body, even though I'm the new one here. Thanks a lot for your help, Tony. Really appreciate it, bruh. All right, open the door. Let's get the camera. Wouldn't the camera have a, have a better flash on it, though? <coughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Here you go, Tony. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna take a picture. Okay. Ready. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's check my lights here. Checking lights. Look right up here at the camera. Ready, say cheese. Mm. 
murder begins or self-defense ends. Or, you know, mur mm. Ah, we're in the 80s now. Is it, everyone's gotta be all flashy now? Dead, What's that? Some of your partners need a helping hand in the apartment building on Ash Street. The guy should be waiting for you in apartment room 311 with some insight on the situation. Over. This is, this is Officer Frederick reporting on the scene. Copy that. We'll, we'll update soon. Took me a I had to really dig into my basket of stuff on my desk just to be able to find that walkie-talkie. I should get in my car. Oh, okay. I thought we were right there. I thought we would just get a lucky break and just happen to be at the site. But I guess, I guess not. This is Officer Alvin responding to the scene, responding to the alert. Heading there now. Here we go. Oh God, I gotta drive. Oh boy, here we go. Do I have police lights that I can turn on? I don't think I do. Am I going the wrong way? I totally am. All right, just gotta back up. Three point turn. Whoa. Okay. Oh, so the marker, okay, so I get it. All right, I'm gonna try my best to not pull a GTA and drive in the wrong lane. I should have known as well because the rain is uh, was only in that certain chunk. It would not render past the edge of the universe for this town. No, this town is the edge of the universe. What the heck am I saying? Drift the corners, drift the corners. I picked up Mario Kart Double Dash just for this. I've trained for this moment my entire life. Yeah, pointless bragging, but I just came back from uh, going to a uh, the second day of a convention and I finally got my hands on Double Dash. <clears throat> the crazy thing is, is that I, I've seen Double Dash as a good game, but also very rare. And like anytime I try and buy it, it's upwards of 80 bucks to 100 bucks. And then I happen to see it at, a, at the uh, convention for 70 bucks. And I'm just like, okay, this is the cheapest that I've ever seen this copy of the game. So I'm buying it. I'm finally going to buy it. I'm finally going to experience why Double Dash is just the greatest Mario Kart game of all of them outside of like DS and Wii and eight. Now I have a soft spot for seven. Wow. I parked so shittily that the that the job part of my contract enlists that I that the car corrects itself. Works for me. All right. This is the this is the police. Everyone. Everyone, don't move. Where's room 311? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, and that's a more Okay, I shouldn't sing that. I can't come up with lyrics quite as quick as anybody, as some other people that I know. Or that I watch on YouTube, at least. I was just trying to think of something classical. All right. I imagine that any of the other rooms, I can't really do a thing about right there. This is the police. Everyone, stay in your rooms. Police, open up. Thanks for getting here so quickly. No problem. We have a little crime scene situation in here. Oh, ha, ha, ha. The only one who had noticed anything unusual during the suspected time of the crime is the neighbor one floor below. How does that make sense? Apartment room 211. I just need you to go down there and try to get as much information as possible from the lady. Get back here afterwards, and we'll leave you alone to photograph some evidence. Can't you let me photograph evidence right now? Bitch. Just saying, bro. Uh, okay. Thanks for the heads up. I can't even. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. You're not even gonna bother helping me, but hey, at least at least I have a gun. At least I have this on me. 
Unfortunately, I can't exactly play with it. We'll play the game and hold it at the same time. But anyway, floor two, room 211. Okay. Why wouldn't the neighbor in room 212 have anything, or 312 have, any, have anything to say about that? Okay, anyway. This is the police. The police. I have some, I have some questions that I need to ask. Carlos is not kidding about her being a bitch. Okay. All right. All right, ma'am. That okay. What happened? Do you know what happened in apartment room 311? Wow. Okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Hold on there. My ears are too delicate for that shit. Okay, okay, slow, calm yourself. Okay, I just, I just wanted to ask calmly what happened, but thanks for any, okay. Uh, do you know anything about the girl? Do you know anything about the girl? No. Unfortunate. <laughs> Very well then. Uh, did you know the man? Oh, I sure did. Oh, okay, who was his name? Smoking the devil's lettuce one grand so once. The devil's lettuce with my... Oh, are you talking about weed? Yeah, you are old. <laughs> That's a... You have a very interesting way of um, describing the your... What you, you want to do to people, ma'am. Okay. Do you know his age? He was 23 years old. 20... Wow. But he stank like an 87-year-old for sure. How do you know how an eight? How do you know an eighty-seven-year-old stinks for sure? All right, that's all I have. Sorry. Thank you for your time. Okay, fine. If you want to be like that, I was just kindly telling you. Thank you for your time. You know what? No, I got to take medicine into my own hands. Thanks. We'll just consider that. The killer also had a gun, had a gun as well, and didn't want to hear any witnesses. It had a silencer on it too. Yeah, that's that's what we'll say. That's the that's the conviction. That's the yes, yes. Okay, we'll just go with that. All right, Tony, Carlos. Crime scenes scare me sometimes. Yeah, I imagine they would, especially to a rookie. Sorry, yeah. Rocky! Okay. Photograph evidence. What evidence do we have here? Oh, why'd it get darker for some reason? Okay. Aha. Okay, you had a mask on. Oh, so the killer did have a mask. Okay. Ready? Look right up at the camera. Smile and say cheese. Murder's mask. Okay, I thought I would just hold it in there. Inspect. Why has been sitting in here for a while? Hmm. I guess I'll take a picture of it anyway. Didn't help me. Of course it didn't. Shower. How much? The toilet. The toilet's not been flushed. Can I flush it then? <coughs> it's not exactly my apartment, but still. Okay. In the kitchen? Where did my partners go? Hey, what do we got? Oh. Okay, we got a... So, the... So the main motive of killing the guy right here. Okay, ready, smile to cheese. Well, what? Okay, uh, I don't know why. This isn't evidence, right? Why is this not working? Uh, okay, I guess I'll come back to it. They open the door to the bedroom we go. Blood sta bloody handprint on the wall. There's a good one. That'll make for a clean wallpaper. All right, ready. Fuzzy pickles. Bloody handprint. <coughs> I forgot already. Did the woman say uh, if it was the man that killed the girl, or the girl killed the man? Some lad was stabbed by his girlfriend because he wanted to break up. Mm. Nothing in the drawers. Didn't try to hide any evidence. 
okay. Was I supposed to do them in that specific order? That's interesting, but also kind of dickish at the same time. Okay, let's get the knife this time. You're back for your retake picture, okay. Ready, smile! All right, What do you? how do you think it turned out? You guys did not see my wallpaper. Okay, I got pictures of the evidence. Guess I'm on my oh scared me there. For the help. Yeah. Thanks for your help you too. Involving this crime at another time. Okay, do we have another it's case? Not that big of a priority right now. How is that not a priority? There's a murder that happened here. Anyways, go home and get some rest, my man. You deserve it. Uh Okay. Uh Thanks, Tony. Uh are you sure? Are you working for this killer? Are you the killer? Because why do you not need my evidence now? I feel like this should be immediately filed uh, at the station. Uh. Okay then. Honey, I'm on my way home. I can stop for, to grab any groceries or food or anything. Do you need something? Okay. Things were a little shaky right there. All right. I guess I'm out of here. See you guys later. I'll see you guys later. Happy Halloween. Bye. No, I'm kidding. <coughs> okay, good. Oh. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, is this an automatic drive or no, it's not. Was that supposed to be a bat or was that supposed to be a crow? Okay. Wait, here I go. Ah! Uh-oh. Okay, good, you, you didn't tell me. <laughs> we were not about to go over a waterfall, good. Okay. Man, I am beat. Oh, Linda, I'm home. You want to do what we said we would do? I legit thought we were in an apartment. Okay. Do I have an objective or something? Let's see. What is this room here? Oh, the office. Okay. I guess I can go in and see. No, I can't go in and see Kevin. Okay. I don't like this, how it's a fade in instead of just walking into the room. Okay. I don't know if I like this. Wait. What? Oh no, did, did we get a divorce? Oh man. I guess she couldn't take 19 years of marriage. Oh well. <sighs> Stop playing that trumpet. I'm trying to sleep. Stop giving me a flashback. <sighs> okay. Oh, darling, Hi, how you doing? Honey. Hi, Linda. I'm home just in time. Oh, now what's the occasion? Oh, Kevin is a tad bit hungry. Oh, did, did you make us dinner? <laughs> give, give, give him his. All oh, right, right, right. Our first. My first day on the force was in the was in '69. Right, right. I completely forgot. How silly of me. How very silly. Hello, Kevin. Hi, buddy. Hey, hey. How you doing? Let's feed you. Eat up, pal. Awesome. Here you go, buddy. Directly to your forehead. Detective. Tony apparently needs some help. ASAP. 
He probably doesn't need it, but I don't make the rules here. He's waiting for you on the side of the road by Pebble Lane. Over. I told you we should have filed this on the night that I took those pictures! My god! This is what I get for working in the, we're working as a police officer is I have to be up at these insane hours of the night or morning in this case. It's the only job that's suitable for me to be able to pay my rent. Oh, okay. So never mind. It's I guess the drive time took a really long time. Don't tell me to walk all the way back to my car. Oh, the huh? The sewers. Okay, Tony, what can I do all for right, you? So this is what went down. All right, bring me up to speed. Some mother's kid went missing when chasing her dog, who was apparently chasing a crow. Okay. The mother, the dog went as far as to run into a sewer entrance to catch up to the crow. Why would a bird fly down into the sewer in the first place? Unless the bird rolled around in gravy or dog food. So our guess is that the kid also went in there and got lost in the tunnels. I think you know what you need to do. And do it, I shall. I think I do. Here we go. Let's go. I can't spin this gun around very well. Okay. You're telling me now how to. Okay, I guess I haven't needed to sprint this whole time, but shift is kind of a guaranteed sprint for gamers. I don't mean to talk crap about the developers putting putting that kind of tutorial in. Let's see. Flashlight. Perfect. I actually holding it. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, I knew I held the bottle and the camera and everything, but I didn't think that I'd actually have a, a, a flashlight to hold. I see. Okay. I'm gonna hug the sides just so I can stay off of the uh, in, out of the sewage. The sewage, even though it's gonna be a pain in the butt to. Ow! Gotta get my. Gotta get back in the sewage. Okay. Am I running out of oxygen? Oh come on! I was saying, I thought someone was chasing me. What is this? A strange, a strange hole. Okay, I don't, do I have a gun on me? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know, oh God. Ugh, half body swim, Ugh, in sewage of all things. Okay, where'd the music go? Dispatch, do you read me? Dispatch, speak to me. Shit, I can't get a signal down here. Oh no. Okay, good. I'm not being followed. I imagine I would have a gun on me if I was. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. Ah! Oh, oh god. Okay, uh, it's a chase. Uh, buddy, stop, freeze, this is the police. Stop running. You're only gonna make things harder on yourself. The more you run, the charges, the more the charges escalate. You don't wanna do this. Trust me, buddy, you don't, you don't wanna do this. What have I done wrong, officer? You're hiding in the sewers. You caught you. There was a dog and a kid that was chased down here. You don't even bother to help them. Unless you got lost down here, you better have a damn good reason for killing them. 
Yeah. I live here. Bullshit. All right. Have you by any chance met anyone down here? A young girl? Hopefully with the, wait, I thought it was a boy that got lost down here. I haven't seen any girl, but I can occasionally hear a dog barking in these tunnels. Which way? Well, speak of the devil. All right, I, I get it now. I know that the dog sure as hell responds to whistles. If you track down where the sound comes from by whistling, you might find the right path to the kid you're talking about. Okay. Do you have a whistle? Why are you living down here, though? I guess I'll climb the fence. Oh, I gotta snip it. Okay. I, oh, I'm doing it multiple times. Okay, down I go. All right, Bill. Uh, thanks for the help. I think I understand what I'm supposed to do here. Okay. Ah! Don't worry, Pooch. I'm coming to save you. Please tell me you have a dog next to you. Don't worry, kid. Don't worry, Popo. I'm on my way. Oh God. Okay. <whistles> to my left. I have the best running in the world. Okay. Let's try again. <whistles> to my right. Aha! What is this? Uh. What? Okay. Oh, okay. What? Ah, damn it. Oh, only twice. Okay. Go. You can tell what just. Oh, come on. Go. I've played enough pop the lock at the arcades to know how this game works. You still down here? Good. Uh oh. Is this blood? That's not good. I can't get my whistle back. I know my dad can kind of whistle like that, like, or something like that. Uh, to be able to get my dog's attention, even though my, my dog is deaf. I wish I could whistle like that. Or even just like the flirty, the flirty kind of whistle. Okay, I can kind of do the flirty whistle. Something smells weird. Is it? I'm thinking it's probably blued. Blued mixed with swage. You still down here, Popo? <whistles> Sounds like it. Don't worry, Pop. I'm coming for you. Uh, whoa. Whoa. What? What? Okay, I'm just going. Going for it. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, that's a health bar. Go, go, go. Stay out of the sewage. I think this makes me move faster. Oh, no. Go. One more. Or sorry, two more. One more. Go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Go, go, run, run, run! No, 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 no! Made it. How was I hearing a dog past a... I guess the dog's bark is pretty loud. How was I hearing it past a closed door? <coughs> I'm like he's in... Please, get me out of here. All right. I'll get you out of here. Don't worry. I'm here to get you out. I'm with the police. 
There'd be a valve around here that you can turn to open the exit. I tried turning the valve, but it just won't turn. Let me get, let me try. Thank you. Let's do this. Can I pet the dog? Make its paw. Aww. Yay. That's cool. Minmo cat food. I found rest remover. Ah, okay. Or rest remover. Good thing I inspected that first. Was the dog also attracted to the smell of cat food? Okay, let's go. I can't. Come on, the door's open. All right, let's go. You're safe now. Are you aware of how far you were running in the sewers? I didn't think I was going that far when I was chasing Max. I need to be more aware of my surroundings. You definitely should. Well, just don't let it happen again. Get in. Your mother's worried sick. Okay. Thanks, Tony. I like how I could shake the dog's paw. Good job keeping the girl safe, pup. Sorry, Max. Well, another successful police police action done. Time to head home to my wow comfort comfy bed. And I would have made the whole thing about like offering him like I don't know a body pillow of a fictional character that's like the closest replacement you'll get oh <laughs> all this craziness in my head is making me sick I can't, I, I can't take this anymore. I gotta, I gotta just, uh, gotta get a night's nice rest. I really hope they don't call me. Okay. Y Yo. Health. That's what I think it says. No, okay, nothing. All right. Ugh, what a day. I'm going to bed now. Ugh. Oh my God. What, 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 what is it? What is it? And there was this crow symbol painted on the victim's blood. Well, what else? I want to be the one to solve this case. And besides, we, we need to pay. How much are they charging us for rent exactly? I don't know, but I want us to be able to pay for it. I want a good life for Kevin. And I want you to you and Kevin to feel safe and protected. If you say so. I do say so, Linda. And thank you for cooperating with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is this a flashback still, or are we back in the present day? Come in, Detective. Tony and Carlos are waiting for you by the Sandy Shore Beach for some kind of examination. Hmm. Tony's honestly weirding me out a bit. He could just do it himself, but he's been making you do his work for a while now. Well, I couldn't care less. Head over there. Now. Over. Dead four. Copy that. Heading out now. Thanks for waking me up so damn early as well. Are you my alarm clock now? Because you might as well stay as it. Stay as it. Officer Tony. Good morning. Why am I doing all your work for you? Oh, wait. Ah, uh, it's Bruce your butt. swimmer guy the cops have talked about. Who had all mentioned that I was a swimmer guy? Yeah, you're here to dive and retrieve some stuff underwater, right? What? 
Yeah. Well, that's your job to figure out. You don't have to give me attitude Look, about it. I don't know what you're doing here, but somebody's got to get the body out of there. And they're apparently waiting for specifically you. Ask your buddies what's going on. They're waiting for you on the bridge. <sighs> okay, well, you didn't have to be so rude about it. You know I carry a gun for a reason, right? Shut up. I don't use it for that reason. Anyway, guys, how much of my how much of your work am I doing for you? At this point, you're going to have to start doing my work. All right, look. What? Don't get mad at me, but I called you over here to do more than just to gather some evidence. All right. What could you possibly house have me do, Tony? I'll explain more when we're there. Oh, hop in. All right, then I guess I guess I trust Carlos more. All right, how far do we have to go? Did you bring some scuba? Did you bring a scuba gear for hey, Tony. me? Last one to the car team pays for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> go, 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 go. You can do it. Do it. He's getting on us. Getting on us. Let's go. Go. Let's go on. All right. We made so it. Yes. The diving squad was busy and we need someone to retrieve a body. Uh huh. And you're good at doing shit, so that's why I called you. How long have you been at this job, Tony? Yeah. Or maybe I have thalassophobia. That's why I had to trick you into coming here. Just follow the rope and everything will be all right. I've got your swimming gear right here. Thank you, Carlos. I'm do uh, fine. I guess I'll do this. Thanks for the help, you guys. You're really doing me a favor here. Did you at least have a waterproof case for my camera? No, of course, of course you didn't. I would have had to bring mine. If I even knew it, I'd be diving underwater. Okay. Down I go, I suppose. Can I can I shift swim to do this? No, I I can't apparently. All right. Oh, I have to manually control my breathing. Okay. Hope there's no shadow leviathans or sea dra no sea dragons are fine hope there's no reapers or warpers or anything down here i would like reef backs that's that's fine by me all right let's bring up the body how did you got how did this body fell right near the dock okay so i had to balance my breathing while obviously doing other stuff. It's a good thing that there's a couple interact buttons with this. I'm breathing alongside me. It's weird as well, considering that I want to keep holding it down, but of course I can't because he's going to uh, run out of air to breathe in. Like right there. But it's a very interesting concept. Is this the body? Yes, it is. Into a body bag you go. Let's get this bag up. Activate. Uh, did it. And up you go, sir. Or ma'am. Or whoever you are. <coughs> All right, officers. Oh, that's a stinker. It was underwater. What did you think would happen? Uh, All oh right. God, that's gross. You're just now saying that, officer. 
Have a look at the body. Maybe he had something on him. Well, let's see. I can't move, apparently. Sir, what do you have on you? Whew, I'm thirsty now. A water bottle. Okay. What else did you have on you? <laughs> huh. Let's see. What else do you have on you? An oh, ID. Man. What? I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Who is it? That's Connor fucking Geller. And who is that? He only lived a few meters from the beach. You should go and have a peek around his house for any pointers to the situation. Carlos can take you back to the shore. Okay, and why aren't you coming with us? All right. Well, since you're going to be the last one there, you're paying for lunch, Tony. All because you decided to stay here and do your job, loser. I'm going to take you for a ride. I'm going to take you for a ride. <laughs> I'm going to take you for a ride. Was that noise? Why did you laugh like that? <laughs> I hopefully I sounded like I was actually underwater there. Can I inspect any other house? No, I can't. Well, damn it, invisible walls. What did I get stopped by even? I know it was a faulty hitbox. Maybe I could find something in the area that I can use to get over the gate. Or, you know, climb it. Aha. Uh, okay, I think I better knock first before I ask to use their ladder here. Uh, excuse me, this is the police here. Sorry, we're uncovering an investigation about a body that fell into the ocean. Do you mind if we take this ladder right here? Great, thank you. Thank you for be, for cooperating with me. I will just go ahead and borrow this really quick. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll return it. I'll bring it back, I swear. Okay. Add the ladder. Over we go. This house seems heavily protected based on those windows alone. And why can't I bring the ladder over? Am I stuck in here? What's this rock? Uh, 0529. Good thing I found that first. What about this rock? No. This rock, these rocks. Now I can't go over here. How dare I not be able to explore? 0529. Yeah, I remember that all from memory. All right, in we go. This is the police. Come out with your hands up. Mm. I don't have a flashlight. Uh, oh, of course, of course, the, the secrets lie in the basement. Like every single cliche. More cat food. And a lockbox. Presumably that power this whole place rewire the power Ooh, okay um so this goes here that there you up there you over oh huh do this hmm oh okay that works. I don't know why the the extender in the middle had to be horizontal. It couldn't move. But I guess I say that was intentional to kind of maybe throw people off. I don't know. But I've played enough Spider-Man to figure out those kinds of puzzles. I guess I don't have a flashlight. So good thing I knew that when I had my electrician job. Meeting him by the bridge tonight. It's been stalking me, leaving notes by the door. Yet I've never seen his face. I don't know what he wants from us, but I'm bringing my gun just in case. If I don't come back home, just remember, I love you, Sarah. His son lived in a trailer park not too far away from here. I should head over there and see if I can talk to him about this. 
Is that all that I came for in this house? Let's see. Take photos inside a house. Hmm. What's with all this here? Okay. Cat food. <coughs> and the messed up bedroom. I got the photos that I need. Onwards I go. How much do I bet that the ladder on the other side is gonna screw me over? Need to like carefully like maneuver my fingers inside the gate to carefully like move it up and get it over. Later that day. How late, how long did it take me to complete those reports? Hmm. I can't even come up with any sort of lyrics for this. Would you believe me if I told you that I was actually in band class for high school and middle school? Yeah, I was in that, but of course it was instrumental music. I didn't actually sing anything, could not come up with any lyrics. I'm trying to get into that so I can come up with like my own songs for this channel. Where exactly am I going? I'm, I'm just literally holding the button because I wasn't given any other instructions besides just drive. And I'm resisting the temptation to have the urge to drive off of this fucking bridge. It's taking a lot of... It's taking a lot out of me. All right. How... Jeez, how far away does he live considering it's nighttime? It's nine o'clock in the evening ever since we did the investigation in his house. Let's see, search the trailer, Holmes. Oh, oh, okay. So then which one am I looking for? Uh, the other one of Geller, I assume. Let's see, holiday. No holiday for this guy, apparently. Let's see here. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to sound like right there. But anyway. No one is home, but I can still enter. Let's see. Okay. I was about to say, am I trapped up here and I had to go all the way back inside the house? But no, I'm not. That's good. Okay. Number one, this was a failure. There's a lot of cat food out here, so is this possibly it? Hello, police. No one is inside. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Let's see if we can find the key. Find the key. Where's the beautiful key? Flat back door is probably locked as well. There's a doorbell on these places? Hmm. Washing machine. There's the key. Very bad place to hide a key. You know? Anybody in here? Let's see. Empty, empty, empty. All these are empty. What about this locker? Woo. Okay. Hmm. Can't do that. What about the TV? No, no. Huh. Me zero five two nine again. No. Okay. Ooh, that's probably the house that I will need to investigate in. This one is barred off. Hello, police! Should be able to disassemble the gate with so with something. So that's probably what I need the weapon safe for. Let's see. Police! 
door is locked. Yeah, I have no chances of finding key of finding a key out here. Like on the back door? No. <sighs> okay, what about what if I try going to the back door over here? No. Okay, this is very stupid. Alright, what about in here? I need a crowbar. So everything that I possibly need lies inside of the weapon safe. Hmm. Let's see here. This smells like shit. Nothing there. What about the cabinets inside of this trailer home here? Or caravan as it's called. Anything? I found a drill. Empty. 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 Okay, so all I found was the drill. That's probably to disassemble the uh, cage on this door right here. Y'all remember that old meme? Let's try it. Anything? Can I do it? Hey, what if I try using uh, the drill on this? There's probably, wait, there should be a back door, right? Well, this is the biggest house that there is. 20 minutes later. Wait, what? I found a drill. Why didn't I pick it up? That better not be a speaker. I'm going to be so mad. This is the house. I go around back. I thought I saw someone for a second. Oh, wait, can I take out the hinges? Yes. This is the police. <laughs> I knew it. Lock pick. At least I actually have the lock pick. Wait, wasting my fucking time here. Love it. Just fucking love it. Okay, now I have the lock pick. What's in uh, this one? Woo. Ooh. Almost, almost. Almost. Hmm. Uh. No, almost. Ooh. A little more. Ooh. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Come on. There we go. I have no idea how those work still. Okay. And what's in here? Empty. 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 Empty, 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 empty. Waste of my time. Oh wait, is there a code? Oh no, that's just part of the oven. Oh, hello. Hey Billy, guess what? I've been tinkering with our weapon safe and I got something exciting to share with you. Drum roll, please. The new code is 3117. <laughs> Because leaving the code as one, two, three, four was a dumbass move, Billy. Fascinating. Okay. So three, three, one, one, seven. That's what I need to know. 
Yeah, because one, two, three, four. That's definitely the stupidest combination I've ever heard in my life. It would make sense that you wouldn't want to put it on your luggage. Because you're be an idiot in that case. Unlock it did. With a crowbar. Why can't I take a gun? Oh, do I not have a gun? Because I'm even though I'm in the police, I'm one with the police. That's dumb, but I do like this puzzle using all four houses that garnish that hold a secret. That's really clever. Move plank. Planks off. I'm coming in. This is the police with a crowbar and a gun. Dispatch, this is, uh, this is Officer Fred Almore, whatever I, my last name is. I need backup here now. I have a severed body with a bloody crow on the wall. I need backup. Repeat. Over. What? My obsession for him grows stronger? What are you talking about? Sometimes in life, all you can do is just just walk away in silence. Silence is usually the best answer for all sorts of things. Oh, I guess I'm not going to stay there and whoa, I'm not going to stay there and help with uh, getting the body into a body bag and examining it, getting it back to the station. Not going to help with any of that. Okay. I am apparently a great detective then. I imagine if you're working with the police, you would have a say in doing police work yourself, not just your detective work alone. Sleep on sofa. Door scared me for a second there. Why don't I, why can't, why don't I want to sleep in my room? I guess I need to be ready for the next call. So I suppose I should just go ahead and just pass out. Okay. <sighs> 78. This is the fifth time this week you've done this shit. What are you talking about? We're literally begging you to stay. I barely even see you nowadays. I have my reasons. This job is my reason. It, I don't pick and choose when the crimes are happening that the police needs my help. I'm this close to solving the crow killer case. I can't believe you. Is your job really that more important than your fucking family? Watch your mouth, mister. You may be an adult, but I'm still your father. This obsession has nothing to do with your job anymore. You're doing this in your fucking spare time. Every single day. What do you expect? Apparently there's no other detectives in this town. I'm the only one who can solve this case. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, you don't know what it's like to be a detective. Yeah. You have a roof over your head. You've, I may not be able to spend time with you, but you have a solid place to live. That's away from the mother-in-law, the crazy sisters, the creepy uncle that I, Kevin, I don't want Kevin knowing. Take this anymore. What are you saying? Fuck you, dad. I 
don't have a son anymore. Get out. It's all Tony's fault. It's got to be Tony. And why the door was left open like that. And why is this place so empty? Enter restroom. Enter staff room. That box of cat food is there as well. Why is that always associated with a killer? Enter office. I don't think that's where I need to go. I think I need to go to the interrogation room. That's what it was. Linda was right. I should have left when I had the chance. Good evening. I'm sorry you had to be in at all with the circumstances going on. I'm Officer Fred Al Fred Almore. Describe in detail what happened. Hi. I know what just happened is difficult for you to process right now. I miss him so much. <sighs> I do as well. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. I won't take up too much of your time. As much as, as much as I know that time is just going to be wallowing and trying that, he's gone. Sounds good. All right. What's My your name? name is Dylan Lewis. All right, Dylan. I'm Fred Almore. I'm 32 years old. And how long have you been together with Carlos? Been together for 14 years. All right. Now I have some personal questions to ask you. I need you to answer these questions as detailed as possible. This is going to help the case out a lot. Was, how was your relationship with Carlos? Oh, it was, it was just great. No difficult times or anything. That's good to hear. <coughs> you have to apologize. I have to apologize. I'm a little sick. What's this? Wait, who? <laughs> Let's see if you can beat his score. Let's do it. Boom. Too much Resident Evil stop. Train me for this. Ah. And bang. Go. And ah. Well, I beat your score. Hey, I beat your score. There we go. <laughs> Apparently, Jordan is the name of the Joker. Give me that crown. Love that crown. We sure had some good times together. Next question. Did Carlos ever feel unsafe in his line of work? Did he ever come home shaky or nervous or anything? <coughs> Pardon me. No, not at all. I'd say it was the perfect fit for him. He liked being a, a police officer.
How was your day at work? I remember him being specifically excited when you started working there. Did... I guess we must have been close friends. My has been exciting. A new guy has started working with us. Ooh. He's a detective. And if we're lucky, he might work with me and Tony. Cool. I can't wait to get to know him. Well, he did get to know me. Heck, Tony even paid for lunch for us. That's good. That was nice of him. Last question. Did your husband have any enemies? Especially with given the fact that, you know, he is a cop. Not at all. I'd say the opposite. He had more friends than enemies, huh? My leg is itchy. Oh. Do you got any spare change? It's freezing out here. I think you need something more than just spare change. Here. Take my jacket. I don't want you to be cold. God bless you, sir. You're too nice, Carlos. He was such a kind man. He had a kind-hearted spirit. What happened to Carlos? What moments do you remember leading up to Carlos' death? Here's what I can recall. <sighs> Still itchy. Come on. <clears throat> I remember him coming home very late one day. Come in. Late. You mm -hmm. just got some good news involving some crow killer case. Okay, tell me more. I got some new evidence involving the case I've been talking about. My colleague might be able to solve the case with this evidence. The next day, he came home even later. Is this in relation to the, like, is this night after uh, the, the beach? Oh no. What's wrong? But this time he told me that he was scared. Like someone was watching him. Uh oh. What's wrong? You, you better come inside. Uh oh. The day after that, he... He didn't come home at all. Uh-oh. It better not be who it better not be the body that I found at the crime scene. Uh-oh. Carlos? What? Carlos! Carlos, where are you? when I found him. Dead. Did you tear into the body bag as well? Get that crow symbol out of my head. I'm sorry to hear that. You said something about some evidence that he had found? Yeah, he, he found some big evidence, apparently. I don't know much about it. But I do know that some scientists are trying to confiscate the evidence or something. Well, do you know where it's being held? Interesting. Well, Dylan, that's all the questions I had for you today. Do you need me to do you need me to take you back just to feel safer? Thank you for your time. Do you need me to take you back home? I understand how you're feeling, buddy. I guess I, I suppose not. Okay. If you find this person, I think I, I think I know what you're thinking. I will. I will. 
Carlos was not just your husband. He was my buddy, too. I need a drink. Will that clear your mind as to getting uh, closer to the case? Shouldn't we go get taught, see this evidence from the scientist or something? What's this? Be lazy. I don't get it. <laughs> God damn. Okay. What? Oh, it's a liquor store. I was about to say, is this supposed to be a grocery store or a bar? But okay, yeah, I get it. All right. Hey. Good evening. Hey, long time no see. Long time no see to you too, Berlin. Today, my man, the usual. Uh, can I just get some alcohol? Sir, how much do you need? Uh, give me as much as you're allowed to give me. Damn, you throwing a party, bro? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. At least someone here can. Uh, let's see, choosing must pay. 16 bottles of beer for $80. Go ahead and put an 80. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you around. And if you spot a chick with some smooth skin, <laughs> call your brother Berlin. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, but if I call her, I might have to arrest her. <laughs> Just kidding, my man. All right, Berlin. You have a good night, buddy. Stay safe. Hopefully I didn't get him sick or Dylan sick. All right. I'm surprised I don't have the beer in the car with me. Is it, is it I just put it in my pocket like freaking Animal Crossing? Yeah, it's not in the seat or on the floor or any place. Well, all right, it's party time. I need myself a drink to be able to get through the uh, case. All right, where's the beer? Where's the Italian? Apparently nowhere. I threw all that money away for nothing. I guess I'm lying on the sofa again. I guess I don't feel like going to my uh, room. Oh, shoot. Uh, Where is the... Give me a second. If I'm going to crack open a cold one, I need a cool way of opening it right here yeah this is something else that i got while i was at the convention today butterfly bottle opener funny story about that actually hopefully i don't get interrupted is that yesterday i went there i bought one it was only 20 bucks which is nice and i get home i open it and it's a butterfly fork i still have the fork in addition to the bottle opener right here i was planning to take a, the fork back and tell them like hey i meant to buy the bottle opener but you gave me the fork so now I have a cool way to both open bottles. Cope. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Okay, apparently I need to get wasted because my, both my, fa my, my, fam my wife hates me and so does my kid. He left me. One of my buddies is dead. So. <sighs> I love you all tonight. Yes, buddy. Head. Some pointers are this some this case keeps leading back to this house. But I need more evidence before I can answer. What is this place? Oh my god, did that alcohol bring me to a liminal space? Ugh. 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 My head. I didn't pay for the damn electricity in this place. Detective, meet me in the woods by your house. I need you to hurry over here right now. Ugh. Copy that. Ugh. Copy that. Be there now. Brr. I can do this. <sighs> 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 
Saturday night. Three in the morning. Do you read me? Is this Tony? Is this you? Tony, do you read me? What what's your status? I'm in the woods now, heading to your location. Over. Tony, speak to me. You better not be you better not be calling me back here so that, just so I can do more of your work. What's up the blue grass? All right, I forgot I could sprint. Officer Tony, respond. Officer Tony. Uh oh. Why isn't he responding to me? What am I going to fuck? It wasn't Tony. Inspect knife. Pro killer's fingerprint could still be on here, which is a good thing I picked it up with my bare hands. I'm going to find him tonight. I must, and I will. I wish I could just wake from this nightmare. This is all this is to me, it's just a nightmare. My officers are dead, my kids, my kid hates me, my wife left me so long ago. I think I, I think I, under, I think I know what the twist is going to be. And I gotta say, it's going to be a pretty damn interesting twist. I need to compare the current evidence files with the fingerprints on the knife. So where can I do that? Find the evidence room. Got it. Not the restroom. Blah. Evidence room, the, not the office. It's further down the hall. We're, I am finding him tonight. <sighs> Evidence room. What? Should be a key somewhere in the office. I guess, I guess that doesn't make sense for that. Why is there also a forensics lab? Do I need? I think I'll need to go in there as well to further examine the fingerprints on the knife. I gotta wonder as well when we get to the point where when you take a picture of a crime scene, if uh, the if you can actually zoom in so close to the picture that you can actually uh, see the fingerprints on the body or just at the crime scene. <sighs> Nothing in the drawers. No. Nothing in there either. Gotta be somewhere. Aha! Evidence room key. No. And nothing else, nothing else. Okay. Over we go. Let's go. Let's figure this out. Oh, why does the evidence room have to be like this? Unless these are all pieces of evidence. Oh, it is. So this is the evidence storeroom. Grab the box. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. <sighs> I 
into the forensics lab? Is it locked? The door is locked. I don't have access to the laboratory key. Uh oh. I guess I. Oh, okay. How about right there? Perfect. Good thing I kept that lock back on me. All right, forensics lab. Add tools. Unpack. Okay. I do like how they organize this in a bit of, in a system right here. That's pretty cool. All right. Unpack. Place new evidence. All right. Compare. Knife fingerprints. Fingerprints found by Carlos. It's not the same. It can't be. There's two different fingerprints. There's two people involved. How am I going to be able to get out of here? I would I go, I guess. But who was in the police station? Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Ugh. Hey, get out. Wait, do I hide in the restrooms? Uh. Oh. What is this? House in the woods. <coughs> what house in the woods? And why is there always a crow that flies by every time I drive home? You better not be talking about my house. I, I was so expecting the twist is our character is actually going insane and he's the one that ends up killing despite the fact that and like completely forgets it. I figured that would be the twist, but I think there might be another twist to this. Although, no, I don't think it might it will work as well as I think it will. All right. What's this? Dead plants. Are those gonna help me in any way? All right, inspect board. <laughs> it's all leading to this house in the middle. The house in the woods, this abandoned freaking house. Hmm. <sighs> but now I don't care anymore. It's time to end this night. It's time to end this nightmare once and for all. I gotta wonder, how hard is it to set up this kind of uh, system here? Like with the string and the pins and everything? I gotta wonder that. What time is it? It's almost midnight. We're finding this guy. We're putting an end to his reign. His reign of terror. to me now this is not the time to be negotiating that <sighs> but this case is what caused that this is for Carlos and Tony Linda Kevin if you're out there I'm sorry
This is the police. Come out with your hands up now. I know you're in here. Aha. You're not going anywhere, you son of a bitch. I have you right where I want you here. When I was down, he left me, but I didn't give up, even though he it was not right. Door is locked. Down left, up right. Down. Left. Up. Right. I got you now, mother... Never mind. It's just a key. Susie, why do I not have a gun on me? You know, that would be very much helpful. I got this training gun on me. But that's... What good is that gonna do? I got you now, motherfucker! Oh, no. This person meets the description of the original crow killer. The blood on him is brown and dry. He's been dead before Carlos and Tony were even murdered. There's someone else in the house who is copying the crow killer's trademark. Well, no other place to go than to check these other rooms. Unless there's a hidden book, another hidden room uh, that he's hiding in. The night is the night we end this. Is this my only weapon to use against him? The so-called crow killer? What do I do? Into the vents, I suppose. I don't know how I'm reaching all the way up there. And the screwdriver's going through the wall, so I guess I can't use it. He's gonna hear me sneaking around, though. Hmm. Uh. Squeak! I'm trying to sound like an animal in here. I'm in here but that but that doesn't matter I will put an end to his bird killing another speaker or TV it's right that's what it sounds like stop doing that down there I did not mean to say that uh, no okay must assume he stabbed the vent too many times that I oh, we got I got him. I got him. He be dead. Arr, I don't know why. He, I don't know why a killer sounds like a pirate, but this is my impression of him. Arr. Okay. I guess down we go. Woo! Nowhere to run, you bastard. I can't run. It's a slow, dramatic walk. I need torches lit on both sides of me. It's time to face the one who's got me. Who's caused me so much trouble for nearly 20 years. A 
I got you now, motherfucker. Hands up. This is the police. Suicide by cop. Try to get revenge on me. I don't care what it was. You should not have killed. You can join Tony and Carlos and every other victim that you brutally murdered. This is your doing, Kevin. This is all your fault. A drug. Pills. Wal Walgreens trademark. Anything else on my boy? There isn't. You did this to yourself, Kevin. What have I done? He wasn't your son anymore. That was not your son anymore. <sighs> no, I refuse to believe that this is sure. I mean, a dad that's that ref that puts his work before his family is a douche, but killing others just to prove a point back to the dad. It's been solved. But at what cost? I killed my only son. I became too obsessed with this case. I'm resigning. Hey, I just saw your resignation letter. I'm sad to see you go, but I understand after everything that just happened. We're all gonna miss you a lot. Hey, when you're at the station to leave your equipment, meet me in the interrogation room. I have some questions about what just happened. I'll see you there. Over. Copy that. At this point, I don't even think he can live with himself anymore. <coughs> I mean, the horror that he just went through at that point. I mean, I feel like if it was me being so distraught at that point, I would have just saved a say, say, checked if I had one more bullet and then just pop the, pop the trigger in the same room. Head to the interrogation office. So then who was in the office trying to scare me? Okay. Hey boss, you wanted to see me? Hey. I don't even know who you are. All right. All right. Thomas, okay. 
I just have a few quick questions for you. Ask away. Hit me. Do you know why your son decided to steal the Crow Killer's trademark, specifically for the killings of Carlos and Tony? <sighs> he wanted to get my attention and to prove a point. He knew that I would be even more obsessed with the case after he killed my two best friends. So he copied the original Crow Killer's trademark before killing Carlos and Tony to target my interest directly. Do you know what drove him to the point of murder and suicide? Rejection. Yes. He hated me because of my obsession with this case. And he had nothing to lose, knowing that I wouldn't hesitate to pull the trigger after everything leading up to that moment. His way of getting payback before suicide was making sure I felt the guilt of killing my own son in the line of duty. And yet, he got what he wanted. I see. Well, that's all I wanted to know. Take care, man. I don't think I can. But it was nice being with you guys for about 15 years. Prepare to visit Sun's Graveyard. It's just gonna live in my yard, isn't it? Although, unless they decide to be buried uh, somewhere else. Where is it? Is it over here? Nope. Okay. Where is it then? Is it in my yard? Do I go inside? Oh, okay. So is now is the graveyard now his room? Grab the bouquet. Hey, bud. Oh, it's not. I figured a uh uh the bedroom would kind of act as a tomb. I, I don't know if I'll be able to go back to the point where if I had the option to kill the crow killer, if I had the option to instead walk up to actually see his face before pulling the trigger. I think I might start a new game just to see if I can do that. But something tells me that I can't, that there's this much after game progress. I was gonna say as well, did I keep the car? I did, I kept the police car. Okay, I figured I would have had to return it in addition to my badge and gun. Freya, Carl, Scott, Osian, Timmy, Osian, Sam, Noel, Mark, Leon, Jack, Sam, Joseph, Mary, Tommy, and Kevin. Hey, Kevin. I love you, son. Linda. Look, I understand you must feel like complete shit after everything. Oh, uh, yeah. But what happened is not your fault. Kevin changed a lot after the divorce. He blamed everything on you. He became violent, very violent. But it took me a long time to realize I was in the wrong. My frustrations made me forget the main reason why you wanted to solve this case so badly. You were trying to protect us, to make us feel safe. I regret so many things. I regret not being more understanding. I regret not getting Kevin the help he needed. I regret the divorce. 
I realize now how lucky I was to have someone that made me feel safe and protected. I took it all for granted. What I'm trying to say is, I understand now. I miss you so much. Please, can we start over again? This goofy-ass doctor better hurry up with Linda's ultrasound. The anticipation is killing me! You should be here any second now. You mm. said that like 20 minutes ago! 32 Why did we invite ago. Margaret? According to my watch. Y'all got watches? I don't even have a second pair of underwear. Gross. That's disgusting, man. Is our new born child born? We've got the result from Linda Sofa Sound. And? It looks like you're gonna be the father of two little boys. Woohoo! I will not make the same mistake that I made with Kevin. This time, I was gonna do better as a father. I was gonna be there for them. And I knew from the start that I was going to name our kids after those two. Carlos and Tony. Resting here is a man who found his passion in his work, forever dedicated and fulfilled. I can't read how Carlos is over there. And that was the final pin. That was something. As, believe me, it was, this was labeled as a uh this is labeled as a horror game on itch and yet we get presented with this i guess to be fair the scariest thing aren't exactly jump scares all the time to be fair it is just our us as a collective human being based on a conversation during new year's eve <coughs> I feel like I got pretty in, in character with that. I try I tried to at least. It might also be me because of my cough that I'm having. But that That was cool. Jordan CL. Good job. Great, great work on that. I can't wait to see what other games you you come up with here. That was cool. That was an, in, an insane, insane experience. The only thing, the only question that I have on my mind is, yeah, it just says start game. So I don't think I can actually go back in and uh, choose the option of walking up to Kevin instead of shooting him. But I hope you enjoyed that. That was the final pin. And yeah, I I don't know what else I can really say. Hope you all have a happy Halloween. And hope those of you that uh, hope those of you don't go through this similar kind of pain as well. With that being said, thanks. Happy Halloween. And see you later.